Welcome to Season 2 of Maker Club by EE Focus in partnership with the Hackaday Prize, a world-renowned hardware design contest, and DigiKey Electronics, a leader of distribution of electronic components. As our long-term partner, DigiKey Electronics would like to work with electronic engineers around the world to create and change life with technology constantly. Let's discover the splendidness created by makers together. In this episode, we sit down with Veen Singha, a technical trainer of Microsoft, to discuss about STEM education. Hi everyone, I'm Veen Sun. Currently, I'm working as a technical trainer in Microsoft. I'm also a STEM educator, where I would like to engage with the community and share with them my knowledge and experience. We noticed an interesting point in your career life that you worked as software engineer in Microsoft and also system application engineer in Intel. Could you share why you chose such a switch from hardware to software domain? This is a very great question. I, I would say that it's a journey of exploration for my career. I think all of us, when we started off our career, we might not know what we really wanted. Hence, it's a really a journey for me where I first get started with my interest on hardware, which is a PCB design. And hence, I apply for an internship position in a company where I'm a full-time PCB designer. And after that, I realized that I may not want to do this as my full-time job every day because I wanted to engage more with the customer. That is where I found that a front-end role such as application engineer might be more suitable for me. And that is why I'm applying to the, the Intel as a platform application engineer. And at that time, I was very active in the makers movement in Intel as well. And by at being myself active in the makers movement, I get to know a lot of people. And hence, I also started to understand more about myself and recently, I found out the opportunity of becoming a technical trainer in Microsoft and hence, I applied for it and right now, I'm more into software, which is cloud computing. As it's known to all, Microsoft and Intel have totally different products. Would you like to talk about the differences in corporate culture between the two companies from your personal experiences? For me, I have been working in Intel for the past four years and Microsoft right now is around six months. I, I can't really tell the differences right now, but the one thing that I really love about being in Microsoft culture is the growth mindset, where as a human, we cannot know it all, but we can learn it all. Hence, I'm really enjoying this, where I can learn everything that I want, and then, contribute to the company's success by sharing it with others, enabling Microsoft customers to achieve more in whatever they are doing. In the eyes of makers, these two tech giants are overwhelmingly influential. We learned that you also have a role in STEM education. Is that your hobby? Why do you want to be part of STEM education? Back then in Intel days, I worked as a full-time platform application engineer. And on top of that, I actively involve myself as a STEM educator to participate in the activities where I'm able to contribute to the local community right there in Penang. Not only local community, but also global community where I'm actually able to uh, get to know more about technologies and also sharing with the community about the technology. And all this, I'm doing that as kind of like my interest where I really use some of my spare time during the weekends or maybe after work time to engage with the community uh, by maybe by talks, by attending events. So right now, as a Microsoft technical trainer, during my full-time job, I enjoy learning and teaching Microsoft customer. While I'm doing that, I'm also able to use my role as a STEM educator to engage with the community to really share about what I learned in the corporate world about cloud computing and also sharing with them how can they get started with all this technology as well. And education is really the one that very, very important 
as it changed our mindset and changed our life to have a better life in the future. Could you share the STEM education idea in Singapore? Is there anything special about it? Yeah, as far as I know, the STEM education in Singapore is based on something called Applied Learning Program, where it's really focused more on the hands-on practical experience rather than just learning from the theory. As we generally believe, working for chip players like Intel that have highly hardcore hardware designs is so cool, while Maker and STEM Educator are more like hobbies. Do you see the shift from System Application Engineer to STEM Educator a devastating reduction? Or are you somewhat overqualified for STEM Educator? Mm, this is a very tough question, I would say, and really depending on personal. Uh, yeah, so for myself, yeah, I'm transforming, I mean, I'm changing myself from a platform application engineer to a product and sales manager up to right now technical trainer. And throughout this journey, I'm always a STEM educator myself. And I would say that it's probably not overqualified, but you are trying to learn throughout the journey. And hence, I think that as an application engineer or as a product and sales manager, it's helped to add my values to the community where I can share with them my experience as an application engineer, my experience as a product and sales manager, and also my experience as a technical trainer. And, and it's never about overqualified. From your perspective, what are the similarities between technical training for customers and STEM education for children? Yeah, this is a very great question, where indeed a lot of similarity between the technical training for customers and also the STEM education for children. The biggest similarity I would say is about empowering them to success in their life, whether in their education or whether in their career, to discover something that they never discover and also get them interested and in getting started with something that they never tried. In providing technical trainings to customers, what are the feedbacks that lead to your love of and ongoing efforts in training and education? Yeah, in fact, after every training that conducted by me, I feel very inspired and empowered by all the feedback that I receive from my learners. There are some of the feedback such as, this is the best class ever, they learn something new, they, they learn something that they never learned before, and also they, they finally get to understand a certain concept that they, they feel that is very difficult to understand, but we made it easy for them. And all these feedbacks are the ones that keep us going, keep me going in my day-to-day -day job. And also, of course, to keep me going to, to do more community engagement so that I can share more of such knowledge to the community because I feel that there's a lot more that we can do for the community out there to get them started with all this technology. What does STEM education mean to you? What do you expect from this job? Well, maker education means a lot to me. It's all about the constant learning and exploration of the technology and where you keep on learning and also sharing it with the community. And that makes the whole STEM education very, very meaningful. And one of the most important things I would really love to get out of this is about leaving my legacy in this world where I can at least contribute to the world to make it a better place to live for everyone. Looking ahead, what are your plans for further development and operation of STEM education or training? Yeah, for myself, definitely I will always keep myself updated to whatever technologies and also different kind of uh, products or maybe different kind of uh, technology news out there so that I can constantly be learning, embracing the growth mindset so that I can also share whatever that I know to the community. If I know more, then I can add more values to the people around me.